And the final part of our series here, downloading, enabling, and troubleshooting unlocking certificates. So after QAP application has been approved or unlock request in the FlySafe portal has been accepted, you do need to download the unlocking certificate using the respective DJ app to the drone and then enable it when you're planning to conduct your operations. See a screenshot on the right. This would be an example email you'd receive after the unlock application is accepted. You see the link in the email and slides or video description with instructions for various DJI apps. We're going to go ahead and review the process for the DJI Pilot app and then also cover some key troubleshooting tips or steps if you're running into issues. So first of all, we do need an internet connection during the steps one to five. You can do this you know, at your office before going out in the field. Uh, step one is gonna be powering on the drone, RC, and mobile device or Crystal Sky, if applicable. No, you might not be using it. If you're using the smart controller, go ahead and launch a DJI Pilot app, and then you should see the drone name in the bottom left showing the connection. Then clap, tap the hamburger menu, the three lines in the top right, and select GeoZone Unlocking. Tap the refresh button in the top right, and you'll get a notification about new unlocking packages. Tap on the details button, and then you'll have an option to import the unlocking license onto the aircraft. So go ahead and tap import all. And what you're doing here is importing the unlocking certificate to the actual aircraft itself. So it is then stored on the aircraft. You can then turn the unlocking certificate on and toggle the check boxes in order to accept. Something to note here, if you're using the circle unlock, if you're not actually flying at the site yet, you're not gonna want the circle unlock turned on because the drone's not gonna be able to take off unless it is inside the circle that you have specified. But now that the unlocking certificate has been downloaded to the drone, anytime you turn on the remote controller and the drone, you can easily pull up your GeoZone unlocking certificates and check that it's enabled in order to conduct your flight. If it's not there, you're gonna to need to download and enable it. Going into the interface a bit more here on the GeoZone unlocking side, if you've just turned your mobile device and remote controller on or smart controller and you have not connected the aircraft, you're gonna see a list of all the unlocking certificates currently that are associated with your DJI account. When you do connect the drone, you'll see other unlocking certificates bar on the bottom and that's showing all of the unlocking certificates that do not have the same flight controller serial number as the drone the remote controller is currently connected to. You can tap on an individual unlocking certificate either in the main menu there that you saw, you can toggle on and off for the drone or go into other unlocking certificates and click on them. And you can see the type, the validity, the status, and the aircraft serial number it is for. If you're not seeing any new unlocking packages, one of the top troubleshooting steps here would be to make sure that the DJI app being used is logged into the DJI account that was provided for the unlocking certificate. If you wanna sign out, you can go to the three bars in the top right, settings, and then sign out and sign back in with the account to make sure you're signed into the correct one. Also want to verify the flight controller serial number you submitted was correct if you're not seeing any unlocking packages. If you are seeing other unlocking certificates tied to your account, you can see there that you're properly connected to the internet and have access to those unlocking certificates. So maybe the issue is with the flight controller serial number. Make sure you've typed your zeros and O's correctly. If you're in doubt, you can share a picture with qep.na at dji.com or flysafe at dji. Dot com. And once again, as we reviewed before, it can go within the app and check the flight controller serial number there based on a comparison to what you submitted. Make sure the device is connected to the internet. You can try opening the web browser on the mobile device to connect your internet connection. You can sign in and out of the DJI account to verify the internet connection as well. 
If you're connected to internal internet, it might be an issue with the firewall, so you can try the hotspot. You can see on the right side, easy way on the smart controller or smart controller enterprise is just to swipe down from the top center of the screen. You can tap and hold on the Wi-Fi button to easily connect to a Wi-Fi source and then just hit the back button to go back to where you were. Really stretching the limits here on the troubleshooting side. If we're still experiencing issues, uh, go ahead and try a different device. So if you're using your Maverick 2 controller, swap out and use a different iOS device if you don't have anything like an Android or a Crystal Sky available. And then if you're attempting to fly in the geofenced area, you've downloaded the unlocking certificate and you've turned it on, uh, make sure you have a GPS lock with the drone. Another step here is to check your firmware for the aircraft remote controller. Make sure the app that is being used is up to date. Uh, update the FlySafe databases as needed. Uh, when we covered before, going into the About section and checking your flight controller serial number, you can also update your FlySafe databases there. You also get a notification on the app if you're connected to the internet regarding any updates needed. If you've enabled local data mode, you do need to disable local data mode in order to download the unlocking certificate as well. So one final troubleshooting step here. And hopefully you don't have to run through any of these troubleshooting steps when you're doing it in action, uh, but just from experience and feedback, these are the areas we see that sometimes trip folks up when trying to download and enable the unlocking certificates. If you're using a third-party app, uh, general advice here would be to open the DJI app that coincides with the drone being used, download, enable the unlocking certificate, close the DJI app, and then open the third-party app. When you're closing the DJI app, make sure you actually you know, force quit it out. depends on the device as to how you do it, but you want to make sure you're closing out the DJI app and then opening the third-party app so you allow the third-party app to connect to the drone. Also, the third-party app may have specific instructions and may utilize the SDK to enable unlocking certificates, so it can always check there as well. So hopefully that answers questions and shows you how to download and enable unlocking certificates. Thanks for tuning in.